biggest decision that I made is to come to Los Angeles. I feel like I needed a change in Japan. I've learned enough from the restaurant that I worked at. And I've always wanted to come to the United States. I came here with two underwears, $800 in my pocket, and a knapsack. So it was a struggle for me in the beginning. Totally different culture from Japan to the United States. I got a little bit of homesick. When I was working in Japan, I used to go to fish market at least three times a week to make sure I'm using the most fresh product. The downtown fish market kind of reminds me at home. It was like my day. You know, you wake up, you have coffee, and you turn on TV and you watch the morning news and you go to work. Going to fish market was part of a good reason why I was able to push through. You know, meet some people there that shares the same struggles and see Japanese fish and I'll be like, oh, you know, sort of in Japan a little bit. Three years ago, I started getting this mystery box of fish from downtown fish market. I was always looking for fresh fish from Japan and the box turned out to be the freshest. I get them every Tuesdays and Fridays because that's when they fly into LA. Some of the fish were swimming in the ocean 48 hours ago. I have no idea what's in the mystery box. It's always a surprise when I open it. And it needs to go on the menu that night. So when I open it, I have six hours till the dinner service to come up with something creative and something exciting. My name is Tetsuya Hagi. I work at Spago Beverly Hills as chef de cuisine. Being a chef, it's very important that we're precise with the ingredients that we work with. We keep evolving and learning, respecting ingredients. When I opened the box today, I saw grouper in there from Japan. The grouper is very neutral in flavor, so I wanted to use some other seafood that gives some strength and character to the dish. I wanted to do a crudo, and I wanted to pair it with something that has more character, so I took local uni from Santa Barbara. I like merging California ingredients with Japanese ingredients because I'm Japanese and it's my heritage. Wolfgang gave me courage to put two cultures together and come up with a beautiful dish. When I plate, a lot of times it comes through something unrelated to cooking. I was walking on the beach and I saw a beautiful shell and then there's a little seaweed inside of it. And you know, like, okay, why didn't I think of that? You'll find a beauty of it. I'm always thinking how I can interpret through my cooking. Sometimes when you wake up really early, there's that little fog outside of your house or by the ocean. You know, you'll see that a lot. Kind of inspires me sometimes. For the second dish, we use Japanese bluefish. It has a nice uh, layer of fat right under the skin. So I decided to grill it. As it cooks, it drips the fat on the coal and it starts smoking. That gives a lot of character and smoking aroma to the fish. I wanted to serve that with potato chip espuma, caviar that we use, Ocetra caviar. It was like uh, my take on fish and chips. That was a good chunk of money, fish and chips, yeah, for sure. I crave for creating a dish like that when I see something new, when I see ingredients that are new to me. I'm still in a learning process, I feel like. I can always get better, but everything takes time. Everything takes time. I, I wasn't the most talented chef among my friends when I first started the career, but I'm the longest one that's in the industry. That's why I'm the chef. You don't have to have special talent. If there is a talent, it's a talent that you can actually stick to it. 
There's a lot of waves, but just be on the wave. Don't sink and keep finding inspiration. See ribbons right where it just starts keeping its shape when you lift it above. And this is where we're gonna add our butter. So we just wanna start with our melted butter and slowly add it while we're still whisking this egg mixture. Just a little.